here outside Skyatook, Oklahoma, visiting the Selman Pecan Farm. And joining me is Chad Selman. Chad, it looks like you're monitoring for something. Tell me a little bit about what you're checking with your pecans here. Yeah, so this is a pecan nutcase bear trap that you hang in a tree mm -hmm. and it has a little pheromone trap inside of it. Okay. And then it brings the male moths to this trap and it's got a little stickiness on the, on the bottom of it. And so that catches the moths and I come and look um, starting in 1st of May, I'll, I'll hang it out onto the tree okay. and I'll check it every day and then until I find two days in a row where I catch moths and then after those two days, I'll go and look for the eggs. So how do you know you're catching the pecan nutcase bear moth, yeah, not so, other moths? Yes. So there are other moths that you are going to catch uh -huh. and but it will be primarily pecan nutcase bear. Okay. But there are a kind of a kind of a real small moth, maybe about a quarter inch at most in length. Kind of have a little scale on the back of their, okay. uh, right behind their head. You know what you're looking gray. for, right? I do know what I'm looking for, <laughs> thankfully. And so we'll, we'll, you know, we'll come out and we'll check them. And generally when we really start catching them, you might catch 20 or 30 of them okay. in a day. And you might only catch one or two. Okay. So, but it doesn't matter on the 20 or 30, it matters on, on two days in a row. And so then we're gonna go look at, for eggs, which are on the end of a cluster, we're gonna find a, just a little white egg. And you need to check for those. And once you do, then you can decide whether you want to spray or not if you find enough that warrants it. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what that um, egg then does to the nutlet and the damage that it can cause for you as a farmer with your, your pecan orchard. Yeah, so, the, so once it hatches out of the egg, mm -hmm. it's going to go and, and eat its way inside one of the little bitty nutlets, which are, going to, are very small right now. They're smaller than your pinky. Okay. Um, so then it's going to live in that nutlet for a while till it eats it out, and then it's going to move into another one. And it's a little and, caterpillar larva, It's a little larva, caterpillar right? looking little okay. larva, kind of an olive green uh, <laughs> in color. And most people won't, you won't even notice it. So once we do find those, we spray them. And it, also when you see uh, damage happening, there'll be, it's called frass. And kind of best way to explain it is, is, is bug poop is what it is. Right, but, right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it also looked like kind of maybe a spider might be living in the middle of the nut cluster. Okay. Kind of had almost like webbing looking stuff okay. in there. And that's from the pecan nut case bear. Okay. And it'll actually eat the entire cluster. It'll, it'll terminate all those, all those nuts in that cluster. Okay, so I know when we get our pecans and there's that little black hole in the pecan shell, that's not what we're talking about, right? No, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, that, that comes later in the year, yeah. which is <laughs> a pecan weevil, yeah. which is 90% of what everybody sees. Okay, and, so this actually just to. causes the nut to nut abort. Nut to abort, that's okay. correct. That's so correct. it reduces your production then. That's correct, yes, it does. So. Uh, so we go ahead and spray for these, uh, and then not every year you need to spray for them mm -hmm. um, because weather events can uh, mess up their timing um, of egg laying and such, and so that's why we try to scout and find the eggs. Okay. Uh, now, when we do spray for them, we use what's called, um, which typically everybody uses, is called Intrepid, okay. or a form of Intrepid, and it is kills mainly kind of moth type or caterpillars, um, Type insects, type right. bugs, uh, a lot of a lot of which a lot of them are leaf eaters, right? Uh, and a lot of them that everybody sees. Uh, one of the insects is kind of a byproduct of ki of spraying for case bear, are the webworms, oh. which everybody notices mm -hmm. uh, in the in the fall. Yeah, and they like pecans, the right? And they, yeah, and they like pecans, which webworms, majority of the time, maybe ninety percent of the time are not doing real damage to the tree or the crop okay. because it's generally not that severe. Now it can be mm -hmm. severe in very few cases, um, but most of the time it's just kind of ugly, a nuisance, you don't like to see it. It right. looks like it's doing damage, but it's really not that bad. Okay, so what uh, you're spraying for is very selective to just some of those yes. pesky caterpillars. It's yes, not that's affecting correct. the beetles or anything that's else? That's correct, okay. that's correct. And, and another, another one right now that everybody's been seeing in the last year or two, are these bagworms, oh, yeah. which are in a little cocoon. And there, a lot of them even come started last year, a lot of them are hanging down from the trees and the, and it with a web and stuff like that. Right. So uh, this product will also kill those as well. And so okay. it's kind of another byproduct of spraying for these case bears. Okay, so how often and what is that process of spraying and treating for these? Yeah, so we, we spray for them once a year mm -hmm. um, and that should take care of, there's, there's several cycles of case bears throughout the year, two to, two to three. Um, but spraying for this first one will, will, should suppress the other cycles enough where okay. we shouldn't have to. And so we're kind of finishing up our spraying right now and this will keep 
keep the uh, pecan nut case bare and help with the web worms and the back and the back right. worms as well. All right, Chad. Well, thanks. And here's to another great production year. Yes, absolutely. Thanks. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Mm -hmm.